Did you know you can program an ActivityBot 360 or Propeller Activity Board over Wi-Fi using the Parallax WX module? Wireless programming is very useful for robotics. In this short video, I'll show you how to program the ActivityBot 360 using the new gripper over Wi-Fi. What I'm showing you also applies to Simple IDE with C. Before you start, you'll need a Parallax WX module. Plug it into the ActivityBot 360 XB socket. Next, run a wire from the WX headers SELECT to 3.3 volts. Then turn the ActivityBot 360 on to position 2. Now I'll move into Blackley Prop Solo, where I have an example program to run the gripper. But where is the COM port? Ah, we have to associate the robot with the same Wi-Fi that we're using. To do that, open your Wi-Fi connections and find it. In my case, it's called the ESP8266. Once you connect to it, it will open its own browser tab for you. Once the page opens, there are only two things you really have to do. Click on Networks and then change the Wi-Fi mode from AP to STA plus AP that station plus access point, and then connect the Wi-Fi module to the same Wi-Fi access point you're using for programming. Next, you'll enter the password. And finally, if you'd like to, you can also change the name of the module to something you, you will recognize. To do that, click on Settings, and then give it a new name. Click Save, and you're done. You can close that browser tab, and then log into the Wi-Fi access point that the robot and you were using before. Click Connect, and within just a few minutes, look what shows up here, your ActivityBot 360. So now we can download this Blackly code, which will cause the robot to go forward pick up the 3D printed cylinder, and then turn around. We can modify this code, no USB cable required. Instead of turning around, I'm just going to stop and then continue going straight. So let's download that code. That's all there is to it. Now you can wirelessly program your ActivityBot 360.